Today I'll be doing a tutorial on basic steam energy. Uh, to be able to do anything in HBMs that's even remotely advanced, you need lots of power. Now, this now steam will not provide tons and tons of power. However, it's a good stepping stone to creating larger power systems. So, for this basic steam power, you will need one steam turbine which is four titanium plates, two steel tanks, two titanium steam turbines, and one motor. You'll need a solar tower boiler, which is four steel ingots, four big steel shells, and two ink sacks. Uh, you'll need 48 heliostat mirrors, which I got the recipe wrong here. This is just the general recipe. Uh, three aluminum plates, one steel beam, and three steel ingots. You'll need one steel barrel, which is six steel plates, two steel ingots. You'll need a mirror adjustment tool, which is two iron and two aluminum. And finally, you'll need a infinite water tank, which is six aluminum plates, two water buckets, and one diamond. So to get started, we'll make the steam turbine first. For your six steel, uh, uh, you wanna make 22 steel plates. You make plates in the burner press, like usual, or you can make them in a tier 3 anvil, which is meteorite. Next, we need, we're going to make uh, 16 of these titanium blades, so we need uh, 32 titanium and 16 titanium plates, just like so, like this and this, boom, 16, just like that. Then, we want to use those 16 to create two titanium steam turbines, which requires two steel and, of course, the 16 titanium blades, just like so. Boom. Steam turbines. Next, we will, we will want uh, six steel plates, like usual, in the burner press. Again, put the steel at the bottom. We will then want two, uh, one singular steel uh, barrel, however, the recipe crafts two. So, uh, well we need two, but we only need enough for one, so we need six steel plates, two titanium plates, you'll have those from beforehand. Uh, now, to work on the motor, we need 40, uh, 40 uh, red copper wires. Which, as you know, need the wire te uh, template in the burner press at the top, the Minecraft grade copper at the bottom. And as you know, Minecraft grade copper is created by via in the blast furnace uh, industrial grade copper over steel. Next, we will need uh, three iron plates. Once again, put it in the burner press at the bottom with the plate stamp on top. Using all of these, we can we will make five uh, five copper coils, just like so. Whoops. Five copper coils, just like that. And we will use those five uh, four copper coils, one iron plate, to make two ring coils. We only need one, just like so. And then, in an anvil, we will use the iron plate, copper coil, and ring coil to make a motor. Just like so. We will be two, but we only need one. And then, that's all we need for the steam turbine. We take all of this, put these on the outside, we put the two titanium steam turbines on the top, that the motor there, and the two steel tanks right there, and boom! We now have a steam turbine. Next, we'll be making the solar tower boiler. So, first, we need big steel shells, which, uh, we need 18 steel ingots. Sorry, I, I, I messed up. Whoopsie daisy. I messed up the orientation. They should go, uh, whoops. Oh my gosh, I can't get this right. Oh my goodness. Just like, just like that. Put these in the crafting table. Just like so, boom. We'll get eight, but we only need three of them. So, uh, <coughs> we need some kind of 
of uh, black dye. Uh, I use ink sacs mostly because I usually live by an area where squids are. However, if you do not live near squids, you can use two coal dust. So you simply take the two coal, you need a power source, of course. Oh, and you need uh, shredder blades. Whoopsie daisy. Forgot all about that. And then these will create. Okay, typically doing that, you would get coal powder. However, uh, with the with uh, thermal foundation, I uh, get pulverized coal. So yeah, just either use ink sex or that. Sorry for the disruption. Uh, using all of these together, you can then make the solar tower boiler, just like so. Now, moving on to the heliostat meters, you need 48 uh, aluminum plates. Once again, burner press or tier 3 anvil. Next, you need, uh, I think it's 16, you need 16 steel beams to make a steel beam. Uh, one recipe makes 8, so you just need to double it. You get 16, perfect. And then, using all of this and 16, you can then make... 48 heliostat mirrors. Uh, for the steel barrel, we just need six uh, t six steel plates. So once again, just put them in the plate stamp. Then you take these and two steel, and you can then create steel barrel. Perfect. Now onto the mirror adjustment tool. You need oh whoops aluminum from uh, aluminum ingots from any mod works. Just do this, boom. Mirror adjustment tool just like that. And then for the infinite uh, water bar or for the uh, infinite water tank, we need six aluminum uh, plates. We need two buckets, which two buckets is, of course, just how you craft regular buckets. And now, we want to get two water buckets. So, uh, what I have right now, I just had something that get, would give me an infinite source, but uh, you could get any kind of infinite water source, just, of course, get uh, fill these with water, like you would. And then, you just need the six aluminum plates, one water bucket, one diamond, and another water bucket, or sorry, two water buckets, and a diamond. Put those in here. Boom. Infinite water tank. Perfect. You even get your buckets back. That's nice. So, now that we have all this, the setup can begin. Now, I have here time set day. I actually have this already predominantly set up or have this already set up there's just one thing we need to do to actually start powering this and you need to get your hel heliostat meters and um, little mirrors and place them all around here 48 it doesn't really matter the orient uh, it doesn't really matter how you place them you could have the you could have this extra row over here things like that however um, Uh, however, what you do need to do is take this, the mirror adjustment tool, you want to right click on this, line of position set, just like that, and then these will not be moving since I already set their alignment, however you would right click these and they would all be set to that. Now uh, on top of this is where you want to put the steam turbine. There's nothing you need to do inside of here. Uh, also, don't worry about the copper cable and the energy storage block. That's just to show you. You can make these on your own. Uh, check out my previous tutorial on the combustion engine for how to make these two. But uh, I'll have a link to that in, in the top. Underneath the uh, solar tower boiler, it's where you're going to place your steel barrel, and this is how we initiate everything. Make sure that in the steel barrel you have it set to going up. And is there anything you need to set up here? No, there's not. Okay. 
uh, yeah, make sure you have that to set to up. Then, place in your infinite water tank. Water will be begin being consumed, and it will be put into here. And there, boom! If you did everything right, you should start getting energy just like that. Now, that is the end of this part. However, uh, as you can see, <clears throat> however. As you can see, low pressure steam is being created. Now, the more heliostat meters, or sorry, the more heliostat mirrors you have around, the more it will be produced. So you might want to upgrade the amount you have currently later on. But once this low pressure steam gets all the way to the top, which it's rising quite fast, it will the steam timer turbine will stop working. So. Uh, you don't have to do this at first when energy, energy consumption isn't too high, and you can just break this and rebuild it. Uh, however, you could do this right now, but once energy cons uh, consumption gets too high, you will want to add a tank to collect this low pressure steam. You can even use that tank to feed into something else or create some other type of steam to power s better steam turbines. So, uh, if to make the tank, we want uh, two steel ingots, six steel plates, four big steel shells, and you'll need to make this in the assembly machine. So you need an assembly template. You need a tank assembly template. First of all, your six steel plates, of course, put them into the uh, burner press of tier three anvil. <clears throat> For uh, the big steel shells, you just need uh, twenty-four. You just need, uh, what's, what should I call it? 24. Okay, your four steel shells, just like so. Uh, then, for this, you want to grab your machine template folder, a piece of paper, and an ink sack. Right click in here, look up tank. This one right here. Click it, boom. You have your assembly, assembly template. Uh, now, of course, to make the tank. Oh, whoops! I didn't grab the ingredients. My bad. <coughs> now I already have the assembly in template in here. However, you grab the assembly template, put it right there, and then just shift click your items in. Make sure it has power. I already powered it, of course. And boom, you have your tank. However, to actually transport the steam into the tank, you need universal fluid ducts. So, take uh, you need eight steel uh, s steel uh, what's called plates, of course, like usual. You also need four aluminum plates, like usual. Put them in the burner press, and with these, you should be able to make sixteen uh, sixteen universal fluid ducts. All right, with this one, two, one, two. Whoops. One, two, one, two, one, two. You can make 16 universal fluid ducts, just like so. And then, uh, to actually designate this as being able to take low pressure steam, you need one iron plate, one of any kind of die. Uh, same, same with over. Uh, what's the, yeah? You need one of any kind of die, and you need this once again. Your iron plate. Any kind of die, I'm just using ink sacks again. Right click this, look up, low pressure, and you'll want that right there, fluid identifier for low pressure steam, just like so. Now, we take all this that we have, we'll go over here, place a tank uh, here-ish, and then we'll just take this out of here. Connect it just like so. Then, right click, right click, right click, right click, right click, boom, 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 just like that. It'll change immediately once it is taking this in. And as you can see, the low pressure steam is all funneling out into the tank. And this will, of course, take quite a bit, quite a uh, long time to fill all the way up. But yeah, so that is how you get basic steam energy going. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If it was helpful, remember to like and subscribe, and have a good one.